So I'm using Vivas 14 knot in black for this. I'm gonna come in, catch that thread behind the eye of the hook. For the gills on this pattern, I'm gonna use a single strand of La Fontaine Sparkle Yarn. Catch that right behind the eye. And just take four or five wraps to the rear with it. It's a trilobal yarn. It's nice and soft and flexible, and it's got a little reflective sheen to it. So because of the way this pattern is going to come together, I'm just simply going to come in, throw a couple half hitches right behind it to hold it in place. And then we'll slide the bead up over that material. So once I've got the bead up there in place where I want it, and we'll come in and attach that thread right behind the bead. First body material that we're going to bring into play is a mid-sized clear stretch tubing. I'm just going to put that right up against the bead. I'm going to catch it with probably four or five good solid wraps. Once I have that attached, bring in a Vivas body quill. And this is black. I'm just going to take the end of the strand, I'm going to fold it over the thread, and then just slide that straight down to the hook shank. And once I get it in place there, I want to take about two or three wraps over the material. And then I'm just going to let that bobbin kind of hang there. Cut the excess material. As I go to wrap rearward on this, I want to apply a lot of tension to the tubing. And if I stick the nose of my bobbin right in there, it'll just walk that body quill back for me. I want to take it part way down the curve of the shank there. So at this point, I can either throw in a half hitch to hold it in place. Or what's a little bit easier, I think, is just to switch hands. So I'm still going to maintain tension on the thread here. And then I'm just going to take that body quill and I'm going to wrap all the way up to the bead with it. We maintain that tension so that the tubing doesn't kind of squirm out of the way on us. Once we get there, I'm just going to come in and put a quick half hitch in with the body quill and snip off the excess. So I want to take really wide wraps up to about the hook point. And then my wing buds for this pattern. Uh, we're going to bring in two strands of tan sexy floss and i like to take it and just cut it at about an inch just tends to be a little bit easier for my fingers to work with i'm going to take it fold it over the thread slide it on top of the hook shank take two or three wraps and then just take that thread up by the bead to hold them out of the way i usually lay two or three loose wraps just over the top of them that just kind of holds them up front there as I take my wraps. When I do take these wraps, I want to maintain a good amount of tension on this and make this as thin and skinny as possible. And I'm just going to lay down side by side wraps all the way up to where those wing buds are waiting. Once I get there, I'm just going to take those wraps off and then I'll come in front of it. When I get to the bead, I want to get at least one solid wrap in behind it. And then I like to take four or five right in front of it just to really lock it in place and come in and snip the excess. So two of these are going to pull right over the front, right on top. Catch them with one or two wraps. Make sure they're nice and snug. And then you can come in and snip off the excess. For the wing buds that come in on the side, I want about a 45 degree angle right to the bottom of the bead. And that just provides an accurate imitation of the natural. Lock it in there. Snip off the excess and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So I got that snipped off. I'm going to take just a wrap or two to kind of hold down the excess. And then because of the fact that I'm going to finish this with a UV coat, I'm just going to come in and throw in a half hitch or two. And call that good. Come in nice and tight. Snip that thread. I'm a huge proponent of durability. So I'm going to put in a little drop of Zappa Gap on the bottom side. It's not going to get the UV. Just to cover up my thread wraps there. Then for the UV material, I'm going to come in. I use just kind of a bent, broken off bodkin. Allows me just to work and move that UV around a little bit more. I don't want to stay on top of these wing buds. That angle that we put in is going to act as a little bit of a ledge to catch the material. Which, like I said, just provides us with a really crisp, clean imitation of the natural. 
we'll come in and cure that. And you have a finished masterpiece image.